In this video, we're going to focus on solving problems associated with complementary and supplementary angles. But now let's review. Complementary angles are angles that add up to 90. Supplementary angles are angles that form a linear pair and add up to 180. So in this example, the angle ABD which is this angle here, it's complementary with this angle, DBC. And the reason why we know that is because ray BD, it splits apart a right angle. So therefore, the two angles that are formed are complementary, meaning that they add up to 90. So our goal for this problem is to find the value of x, and then once we have that, we could find the angle measure of a angles ABD and DBC. Now, angle ADB, it's equal to 4x plus 18. And for DBC, it's associated with 7x minus 16. And that's going to add up to 90. So let's calculate x. So first, we're going to combine like terms. 4x and 7x, we can add that to 11x. 18 and a negative 16, that's positive 2. Next, we could subtract both sides by 2. Bring down the 11x. 90 minus 2 is 88. And then we could divide both sides by 11. And we get that x is 88 divided by 11, which is 8. So that's the value of x in this problem. Now that we know the value of x, we can find the arc measure, or the angle measure, of ABD and DBC. So angle ABD, we know that's equal to 4x plus 18. So it's 4 times 8 plus 18. 4 times 8 is 32 plus 18, that's 50. So angle ABD is 50 degrees. Now let's move on to the other angle. So DBC. This is 7x minus 16. Now technically, this value should be in degrees, so we can put a degree symbol here. Now we know that x is 8. 7 times 8 is 56. 56 minus 16 is 40. So angle DBC has a measure of 40 degrees. And as we can see, these two angles are complementary. They add up to 90. 50 plus 40 is 90. Now, let's move on to our second example problem. Find the value of x and the two angle measures. Now, this one is similar to the last problem, but it's a little different. Notice that these two angles, they form a linear pair. They make up a straight line, so to speak. Therefore, those two angles are supplementary. They add up to 180. So we can write this equation. 12x plus 22 plus 9x minus 31. That's going to equal 180. So let's combine like terms. 12x plus 9x, that's going to be 21x. And then 22 minus 31 that is negative 9. And then if we add 9 to both sides, we're going to have 21x is equal to 189. Next, we could divide both sides by 21. So 189 divided by 21 is going to give us 9. So that's the value of x. x is equal to 9.
Just like the last problem, once we know the value of x, we can calculate the angle measures. So let's start with the measure of angle ABD. So it's going to be 12x plus 22. Now let's plug in x. Let's replace x with 9. So 12 times 9. 10 times 9 is 90. 2 times 9 is 18. 90 plus 18 is 108. And then 108 plus 22 is 130, which I can take away the brackets now. So angle ABD has an angle measure of 130. To find the other angle, DBC, it's simply going to be 180 minus the other angle, ABD. So it's 180 minus 130 which will give us 50. So that's what you can do to solve problems like this. Problems associated with complementary angles and supplementary angles. Now let's work on this problem. ABC is a line. So treat this as a straight line. With this information, what is the value of X and angle ABD, DBE, and EBC? If you want to pause the video, feel free to do so. So because ABC is a line, these three angles, they add up to 180. So we can write an equation, 6X minus 2 plus 9x plus 17 plus 8x plus 4 that's going to be 180. Now just like before we need to do some algebra to get the value of x so we're going to focus on combining like terms. 6x plus 9x that's 15x plus 8x that's a total of 23x negative 2 plus 17 that's positive 15 plus 4 that's going to give us positive 19. So now we can subtract both sides by 19 and we could bring down the 23x. So we're going to have 23x is equal to 180 minus 19 is 161. After that we could divide both sides by 23. 161 divided by 23 is 7. So now we know the value of x. So with that we can calculate the measures of the other angles. So let's start with angle ABD. So that's 6x minus 2. So 6 times 7 minus 2. 6 times 7 is 42. 42 minus 2 is 40 degrees. So that's the angle measure for ABD. Now let's move on to the next one, DBE, which is 9x plus 17. x is 7. Now 9 times 7, that's 63. And 63 plus 17, that's 80. So ABD is 40 degrees. DBE is 80. Now we can find the missing one, angle EBC. So that's going to be 180 minus the other two angles, 80 and 40. 180 minus 80 is 100, and 100 minus 40 is 60. So that's the missing angle. So now we know the value of x and the values 
of the three angles here, 40, 80, and 60. So that's basically it for this video. Now you know how to solve geometry problems that kind of has some algebra in it, but that's associated with complementary angles and supplementary angles.